Hey everyone, it is Finn here, that is FYWN, and today I will be talking about my FIFA 21 career mode wishlist. Now yes, this is specifically career mode. Yes, I know there are a lot of problems in Ultimate Team. Trust me, I mean, if you look at a 25k pack, there's a 54% chance you get a player higher than an 82 rated. I've opened 5 of those packs, and the highest rated I've gotten is Alexis Sanchez. So yeah, I'm pretty annoyed by that too, but you know, it's specifically career mode, because let's be honest, career mode used to be something amazing in FIFA, but it has fallen down in recent years, because let's be honest, it's all just become the same, the same, the same. I mean, the most like unique is probably FIFA 20, where they've added dynamic potentials that really, you know, adds a real life aspect that players don't always turn out the way you expect them. And you know what, things really do depend on form. Another thing that was really exciting in this game mode is player morale, where it actually depends on how players feel, which adds, you know what, a real life aspect, because now the players actually feel real. It doesn't just feel like someone you control, uh, which I think that's something they can really play on in FIFA 21. For example, uh, the first thing I think they should add to the game without a doubt is social media. Let's be honest, social media is the biggest thing added in the world. Therefore, it should be added to FIFA 21. And I think a huge thing could be player morale, you know, if they're really upset and they want to leave the club, or, you know, there's transfer rumors, blah, blah, blah. Or if a player's even really happy, then they can post on social media, even if it's just like a loss in a game, they'll say, oh yeah, blah, 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 maybe we'll get them next time, something like that. And then according to that, I think the fans should have a reaction to that. I think fan morale should be added into the next game. And it should be dependent on the club, obviously, your form itself, and player morale. Like, for instance, you see in the thumbnail, I use Pogba saying, I'm leaving. Which, let's be honest, if Pogba doesn't get enough game time and he does end up so posting something like that on social media, fans will obviously then be unhappy. And if he gets played on from there on, obviously the fans would not get happy. And I think then there should be less attendance in the stadium. That's right, I think that players should be able to post on social media and according to that, fans will have a reaction to it. Their morale will drop or will go up and they'll impact attendance on how many people show up to a game. Because let's be honest, in FIFA, the attendance is always full. I mean, Norwich and Burnley, the stadium will be absolutely full no matter what. In every game, it's full and it's kind of tiresome. It doesn't feel real, let's be honest here. So therefore, I think that should impact on how many people really show up to a game or at the final at the end of the season if the team only needs one more win to win the premier league title the stadium should be nearly full because therefore it will feel more real the atmosphere would be different because atmosphere needs to be messed with a tiny bit in fifa because you know what they've added a few things over the last few years i mean fans have looked more real but let's be honest you, they do need to add in something like that and as I said, social media would be a huge thing. And we saw it with Twitter in the journey, uh, or at least they could even make up their own social media on FIFA. Even that would work, in my opinion. And they could also do that with transfers. When it comes to rumors, I think it could go absolutely everywhere on social media. And I think if a player signs for the team, it goes up on social media. And according to how well your team is doing, or how happy your players are when they're posting on social media, your club itself, the followers go up. And I think that would be a really cool thing to add to the game personally in my opinion and also on top of that even if it's not a real transfer like let's say i'm managing arsenal and arsenal i would say their weakest point is probably their defense there would be rumors on that social media platform saying oh they're linked to this defender they're linked to that defender whether it's true or not in the game whether you've made a bid for anyone and that can almost give you an idea of who you need to go for something like that because then you can also see the fans reactions to the team yeah, i think social media could be the biggest thing added to the game and i think that would obviously and genuinely really change the game next thing i'll add to the game in my opinion and before i actually go on i want to say guys the only way any of this can actually happen is if you guys really do share like and subscribe to this video it's not a lot of likes for me but can we at least try to get 10 likes on this video that would really Helped me quite a lot and as i said if any changes are made to fifa uh, regarding this video then you do need to share it please the next thing i want to talk about is cutscenes i think cutscenes would be amazing obviously we had cutscenes in the journey and i'm referring to the journey because the journey had a lot of potential um there were lots of things that really could have worked in it in career mode that i do think they need to move over as i said cutscenes and i think random cutscenes need to be added to the game at least within every six months within the game time itself I think that would be really cool and they can have a whole bunch of scenarios just loaded onto fifa and so it's not necessarily oh six months the specific cutscene will happen a year into your team is specific i think it'll be randomly generated and you would have to make a point that would really just change everything for the team whether it's something like a new sponsorship i think that would be very very good like your sponsorship deal runs out and you need to change it now i know there's obviously lots of licensings with teams and the sponsors they have but i think it would be nice to have sponsors in the team itself so that um 
you can almost have adidas or nike or some team and according to which sponsorship you go for you get certain different like you know what you win x amount of games you get x amount of cash and that's how i think it should work like real sponsorships i think that would be really good because once again real life as i think I, as i said i think sponsorships would be really good in the game and it would also you know change the kits up a tiny bit even just having a new sponsorship logo across it cutscenes and i think cutscenes would be important to add just a random one just so that not everyone's career mode is exactly the same and i think big cutscenes that could be added in is having almost like your team of the year and team of the season in career mode i think that would be amazing you can actually go to the award ceremony see who's nominated and you can sit and see who actually ends up winning the awards i think that would be really interesting to watch and adds a bit more depth to it and almost i don't want to say makes it more like a movie but makes it feel less of a game and more realistic along with that i think if a player from your specific team like i'll use um liverpool for example let's say mo salah is in the team of the L, team of the season Throughout the next season, I think uh, it should have some sort of impact like Mo Salah does more sponsorships, there should be images because of course you get that little new square in the main block in your career mode and you can see different kinds of sponsorships and promotions and deals like that. I think that would be really more, more interesting and of course if that player does perform then it impacts almost their attendance. Once again, I think that would be a lot more realistic than what is currently happening. I definitely do think cutscenes would be very important in FIFA 21 if they added it to different kind of ceremonies. And another big one I think they should add is testimonials to the game. I mean, Pez has testimonials. I don't see why FIFA can't. And I mean, let's be honest, it sucks to have a player for so long and then they just leave and there's no testimonial. Obviously, they should be optional to play. You can obviously choose to play them or not. But let's use Messi from Barcelona. If he decides to retire or leave the club, there should be a testimonial in his honor and you should be able to almost handpick players that have played for the club or at least they should give you an option of some legends that have played for the club something along the likes of that i mean even if you can just only use the current team versus your rivals i mean even that would work something just to say goodbye to the player and at the end of the match you as the manager or whoever your manager is can go along let's say the barcelona manager then with messi they can have their arms around each other or they can be shaking hands at the end for the testimonial and he can be handing over a silver plaque with like the Barcelona logo on it to Messi. Something like that, something more realistic, something to give the players more of a realistic feeling to make them actually human instead of just a computer. Guys, those are just some short ideas. I mean, I have a lot more ideas, which of course you guys will have to ask for if you want to see that. Once again, if you actually want any of this in FIFA, you guys, please do share this video so that more people can see it because I would really love that. And once again, this channel is slowly growing and one day I'd really like to reach 1,000 subscribers. We are just over 700. So yeah, let's aim for 750, 800 very, very soon. But I do really appreciate any support you have on this video. And yeah, as I said, please do subscribe, share, and like this video. And guys, I hope you all have an amazing day and you're locked down. Let's hope it's not going too bad. This has been Finn, FYWN. I do love every single one of you. Stay awesome. Cheers.